The Roots of Progressivism. Your quiz today is going to be on this PowerPoint and the readings from Section 1 of Chapter 7, which, I've, I, which I have put a link up in Schoology. What exactly was the Progressive Era? During this time, many educated middle-class Americans began to notice the major problems brought about by the Second Industrial Revolution. During the Progressive Era, reform reformers worked to correct the social, political, and economic in inequalities in society. Now, some examples of these social, economic, and political problems were social problems uh, some of the things that progressives wanted to change was discrimination against new immigrants and African Americans. They wanted to put an end to alcoholism, which was widespread during this time period. And they wanted to improve educational opportunities for children. Some examples of some political problems that progressives hoped to solve was women did not have the right to vote during this time period. Big corporations were controlling polit politicians by giving them bribes, and they also wanted uh, the government to have more regulations on businesses, which would protect consumers and their workers. So they wanted to see an end to this laissez-faire um, policy where the government basically said, we're staying out of it, laissez-faire, I don't care. Some examples of some economic problems that progressives hoped to solve were low wages for workers and monopolies, which limited uh, competition between these large corporations that had formed like Standard Oil Company and smaller businesses that could not compete. Um, so some different examples of the progressive movement. One thing, uh, there was one segment of the progressives who wanted women to have the right to vote, which is known as women's suffrage movement. In some Western states, women had the right to vote, but throughout most of the United States, women did not have the right to vote. Some women were even arrested for trying to vote. Suffragettes, and suffrage means the right to vote, suffragettes fought to have an amendment made to the Constitution giving all women the right to vote. Now, yesterday we read about Nellie Bly uh, and how she went undercover to expose the abuse that women faced in mental institutions, but there were other muckrakers who wrote exposés. Um, these exposés were articles that were written to publicize injustices and scandals about all sorts of problems from child labor to corruption and Standard Oil Company. And then another muckraker that has been mentioned uh, last week was Upton Sinclair's uh, book, The Jungle, which was about the dangerous and unsanitary conditions of the meatpacking industry. Uh, this book was actually very successful in prompting change because President Theodore Roosevelt during this time period, after learning about the contents of the book, pushed Congress to create the Meat Inspection Act and the Pure Food and Drug Act which would regulate um, food companies and make sure that uh, food was being processed in sanitary conditions. Uh, and then there were some progressives who wanted better treatment for Native Americans. One famous one was Helen Hunt Jackson, who wrote a book called The Century of Dishonor, which described the U.S. government's role in the removal of Native Americans from their land and their resettlement onto reservations. Jacob Rees, which we went over in a PowerPoint yesterday, his book, How, How the Other Half Lived, um, was very example as far as progressive reforms. His pictures revealed the cramped, dirty conditions of tenement housing. Uh, eventually, this helped bring about laws that regulated tenements and made sure that they were spaced further apart and that they had at least one toilet per 20 people. And then many reformers were inspired by the social gospel movement, which was basically uh, Christian principles should be applied to society, which meant help your fellow man. So many of these progressives subscribed to the social gospel movement where they believed it was their duty as a Christian to make the world a better place for everyone and to help the poor.
Um, another example uh, in the progressive movement, some reformers were against war. Uh, Emma Goldman was arrested and deported for criticizing the U.S. government's involvement in World War I and conscription. Conscription was when men were forced to serve in the military, also known as drafted. And during World War I, there was a conscription. And so those are just a few examples of um, what the progressive movement was about and who was involved. But overall, the progressives, they wanted to reform society through government regulation to end child labor, to end monopolies, to improve working conditions, to help new immigrants assimilate into American society, to give women the right to vote, to make sure all children could go to school, and many more causes which we have not discussed yet.